Right, if we take out 120, let's see what happens. Run. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. So the use of AI and AI systems like ChatGPT have really become prominent in the last year. I have found it particularly useful in my non-retro projects. Recently, I thought to myself, could ChatGPT produce code in the basic language for good old 8-bit computers? Well, that's what we're going to be looking at today. For the basis of this video, I'll be using ChatGPT to produce basic code for my Amstrad CPC 464. But you can use any 8-bit computer for this. So let's get to it. So first up, I asked ChatGPT if he understood the basic 8-bit programming language. And this is how it responded. Yes, I'm familiar with basic, including its variations used in 8-bit computer systems. Various 8-bit home computers, such as the Commodore 64, Apple II, and Atari 8-bit computers, featured versions of BASIC as their primary programming language. Okay, well, so that's a good start. So then I asked it, can you write a program using the BASIC 8-bit language for Amstrad that will display the logo and the title of the Knight Rider TV show from the 1980s? It confirmed that it did, and this is the code that I got. I'm not going to type it all out, but if you squint your eyes, you can see that it spells out Knight Rider in the ASCII format using the letter K to make the letter K and the letter N to get, um, you know, to make the letter N. And you pretty much get the picture from what you can see on the screen. It also goes on to say that this program uses the print statement to display each line of the Knight Rider logo. Adjustments may be needed depending on the specific display characteristics of your Amstrad computer. Please keep in mind that the graphics capabilities of 8-bit computers from that era were often limited, and creating a detailed graphical representation might not be feasible in pure BASIC. So I then decided to make it a little bit more difficult, and I asked it, can you write a program using the BASIC 8-bit language for the Amstrad that will display the logo of the Ghostbusters? This is what it said. No. What he ended up producing instead was a code in ASCII art format, which, well, from what I can make out, says thank. I can't work out what the second word is supposed to be, but um, let me know in the comments below if you can make that one out. So for the second task, I asked uh, ChatGPT to write a game for me. I thought this would be more of a challenge for it. Well, as I had Knight Rider on my mind from, from the previous video I made, um, I used that as the basis. So it then responded saying that it was quite complex to uh, make it in pure BASIC due to the capabilities of BASIC and the graphical requirements needed. But it did produce code for a simple text-based game. Let's look at that code and see what it looks like. So you got your 10 print, welcome to Knight Rider, yeah, print. So a lot of input printing. There's not so much any functions at the moment. Call a BB18. Okay, clear screen. Okay. So the code it shows at the moment is, is pretty much just um, for display purposes. Not so much many inputting um, commands or functions at the moment. I'm going to type all this out and um, see if it actually works. So let's get to that right now. Right, so this is what the Amstrad uh, CPC 464 screen looks like. It's very blue. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put it into night mode, but of course in the 1980s, there was no such thing as night mode. So we've got a black background and yellow writing. So that'll work, we'll clear the screen. Flat. So let's do 10 prints. Okay, so I've typed it all out. Um, you may notice that I have you I haven't used um, the capitals all the time when I've entered print, but don't worry, if I type in list, it will actually correct it all for you. So let's do list. And there you can see the norm is to write any functional command with the uh, in capital letters. So that's all typed out. And now we are going to run it. So let's hit run. So it's 
So let's print that part, but we seem to have, ah, right, okay. So let's look at that line 90. So it says 90 call uh, and BB18. So that is the actual command. Um, the bit up next to it where it says wait for a key press, that is the function. So you don't actually need to type that in. So let me correct that. I'll do 90 call at BB18. And I'll leave it like that. I'll leave out the semicolon and we'll see what happens. I'll just get the list, make sure it's inputted it properly. Yeah, I think it was there. I missed it, I wasn't even looking properly, but I'm pretty sure it's there. And there, let's see if the game works. Right, let's do a run. There we go. So. We've corrected the line 90, so all we need to do is press any key to start. And that's it. It's not doing anything. Well, if we look closely at the code, there doesn't seem to be any clear code for pressing the one, two or three keys for the direction. I mean, in a description, it said chat GPT. Um, you can navigate through by choosing options one, two and three to drive forward and turn left and turn right, uh, respectively. So chat GPT lied. I'm chalking this one up as a foul. <coughs> so for the next test, I thought I'd ask chat GPT to draw an outline of the United Kingdom and um, it might be a little bit complicated, but then again, it might not be. I mean, it's just shapes, really. So um, let's see what it come out with. So it says, Certainly, Locomotive Basic is a dialect of the basic programming language used on the Amstrad CPC series. It's a simple program that uses basic drawing commands to outline the United Kingdom. Code um, is not really that long. I don't think it's got actually going to produce what we want it to produce, obviously the United Kingdom. But um, it says that's it. Let's see what it comes out with. So you need to type in new, do this, okay, do clear screen, do turn mode one. And, right, let's list that. Just to check it. Yeah, that seems to be okay. Will we get the United Kingdom? Mm, I'm not too sure, but let's see what it does. Run. And we get a square and we get a syntax error as well. So that's code for 120, pause zero. So I'm not sure why it's come up with that line. Yeah, let's, let's take out that. Let's take out that code. So let's do this again. And we'll just do 120. I should remove it. It's gone. Let's do run. And it blinks off. We'll run it again in case you missed it. It's drawn the screen and it's gone away. I don't want that. I want a permanent square well I want a permanent United Kingdom but um, yeah I want a permanent image on the screen so let's check the code again let's do this so we've got 10 blah 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 10 20 blah. so basically it's line 130 that's the issue so um, after it does the routine it clears the screen uh, we don't want that so I'm gonna do 130 to clear the line We'll do list, just do double check. So that's now gone. Let's do run. And there we are. We now get our square, which is meant to be United Kingdom. Let's just do list again. There's some, there's another bit of code in here, 1110, that line, that's not really needed. Let's take that out. And I think 50 is pretty much a dud line anyway, so we'll take that one out. Do the list and we'll run it. And there you go.
do this again. I'm not sure if we need end either. Let's see if we take what happens if we take out end. We do one with 40. That's gone. Let's do run. See, it does nothing. So that's pretty much nothing. So we can always stick in another command in there. So after 100, we could do 110 and do go to uh, go to 10. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's do run. And now we get a blinky screen. It's not very good at producing um, United Kingdom, but you know, it did produce a square, so that's not too bad. So um, we'll give this we'll give this one a pass and we'll move on to the next one. Right, so for the next one, um, I'm gonna put chat GPT to the test. I'm gonna ask it if can produce a database for all the films that I ever watched. So I'm not too sure if you can actually produce a database um, in BASIC for the for the CPC, but uh, I seem to recall there must be a way. So we'll give it a go, but, but my mind is saying this is something that really needs to be written within assembly. But again, I could be wrong. Let's ask ChatGPT. Here we go. This is what it's given me. So it looks pretty, I'll say solid. There's some commands in there that I recognize. Uh, again, inputs, there are input functions and pauses and go to's and so on like that. So yeah, it's quite a few lines along. What we got there, we've got about 74 lines. So this is gonna be another one. Um, Another long one. So I'm going to type this all out and uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to do new. Don't forget to do new. Just do this just to make sure. Yep, so we've gone. Let's clear the screen. So we do prints. Also, for film title, that should allow 50 characters. The release year is the year, so it'll be 1984, 2022, whatever the year is. And the genre, well, that could be, that should allow um, enough characters for most of the genres, like horror, sci-fi, uh, romantic comedies. I don't know. Yeah, that, that should work. So let's carry on. Right, so I've typed all that out now. Um, Feels like it took forever. So we'll just list it just to make sure. Looks like everything is there. Okay, so that's everything entered. So we'll type run and hit enter and see what happens. Okay, um, we've got an error on 120. So what doesn't it like there if we simplify that again let's do 120 input choose an option Try that. Let's do run. Still doesn't like it. Let's take out input choose um, option one two four. Let's do this. Okay, let's do run. He still doesn't like it. Right, if we take out 120, let's see what happens. Run. Oh. Well, 
I wasn't expecting that. It's deleted the whole bloody lot. Right, well, I'm not typing all, all that out again. Um, One hour later. Okay, I typed all this out again and I simplified it and it's gone back to the blank screen. But what I think the issue is, is it fouls on line 140 where it says 140 call add film as soon as you add that it just seems to delete everything again i'll put this full code in the description below have a look at it see if any of you guys can see where chat gpt went wrong or even if it's just a total no go it's just not possible so yeah this test is a fail <laughs> I'm reviewing what has been done here. ChatGPT is a useful tool to get your project started. In terms of the basic language, ChatGPT still needs to do some machine learning. Human intervention is still required to get the details correct. And I suppose this is a good thing. And uh, it does not make the human brain uh, redundant just yet.